Yo, 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 guys. Today I'm going to show you how I set up my BMW 1.4 scanner. Uh, PA soft called originally, I guess. Um, it wasn't hard. <laughs> it took me about like three, four hours. Uh, but I did it and uh, I was watching YouTube uh, tutorials and reading on forums and so on. And of course, nothing went as planned, but I figured it out somehow. So uh, I will show you my experience and the problems that I encountered. So maybe it can help you set up yours. And uh, yeah, so now the first thing, of course, that we need is the scanner itself. Uh, this is how it looks like. Uh, you can order it from Alibaba, eBay, Aliexpress, uh, Amazon. Uh, it's going to come with this kind of come like this. We're not going to use this one. Uh, and if uh, when you're ordering it says uh, only for Windows XP, Windows Swiss, so don't worry. Uh, we're going to use a different kind of software. So, yeah. Uh, the second thing that we need, we need to download the software. So, I'm going to link all of these uh, URLs uh, down in the description. So, here on E46 Fanatics, that's a great uh, forum. Uh, uh big thanks to the guys who are setting this up and giving all this information so here when you're scrolling down uh open software download on mega that's where we're gonna download the software from the cloud now we're gonna press download then yes it's downloaded yeah okay so now we're going to download the drivers. I will link this uh, site in the description. And uh, yeah, you just uh, press download and download a zip file. So now we have downloaded both of the files. Uh, before we extract them, we're going to go back to the desktop and we're going to make two new folders. The first folder is going to be called BMW scanner software software and the second one is going to be called BMW scanner drivers nice okay now I have both of these folders right here you can go back to the file explorer, press downloads, and here we have, we can open the first driver kit, extract to, no I'm not going to buy you, extract to, then desktop, and yep, the drivers, yes. Now we have extracted all the files, we can close this one, now hardware, uh, extract to, please F off. Uh, extract to now desktop and software yes okay nice we have uh, extract all the files we can close these now first thing we're gonna open is BMW scanner software open up here's the application that we're gonna run let's open up press yes English okay next 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 Create shortcuts on desktop. Next. And finito. Nice. So this is the application itself. So uh, now before installing the drivers, I'm going to run this program uh, because it uh, I was uh, doing this step uh, when I installed my the BMW scanner or other my two computers. So now I opened it. I'm going to press add and remove devices. It's searching for some kind of files that maybe will interfere with our driver installation, I guess, or something like that. Okay, he didn't find any files to do or devices. Uh, that's nice. Okay, we're going to close this, close that, and close this now. So now, before we uh, install the drivers, we need to set our computer into test mode. Uh, how we're going to do that is uh, in the search bar type cmd, command prompt. Uh, I'm just going to pin it to the, my taskbar. It's already pinned. Okay, nice. So on the cmd application, 
we now press shift and hold, press right click and run as administrator. Okay, nice. Now, command prompt is open. I'm gonna open the notepad and this is the command I'm gonna insert right now. Control C, go down and Control V. Now, when you press enter, for some of you, it will show the function is successful or the command was successful. That's nice, great. You can then move to the next step. But if you get this kind of message that I have, an error has occurred setting the element data, the value is protected by secure bot policy and cannot be modified or deleted. If you have this kind of a message, then I will show you how to get rid of it and how to set everything up for the test mode. So now we're gonna close the command prompt and now in the search bar, we're gonna type, no, we're just gonna open settings right here. Then we're gonna type change, geez, come on. Change advanced startup options. So now we're going to use restart now, advanced setup. I'm gonna press it. Then a uh, different kind of screen will show up. This kind of a, come on, come on, come on. Focus. And troubleshooting, yes, advanced options. Then UFI firmware settings and restart. Come on, focus. And now here in the boot uh, screen, we're gonna go to security. Why are we going to security first? Because this is Acer computer. It won't allow you to, uh, here you can see boot mode. It won't allow you to change this option right here. First, we need to go to security, set supervisor par password, press enter. Now we can choose our password. That's gonna be one, two, three, four, enter, confirm, one, two, three, four, enter. Nice. Now all these options are unlocked, as same as this one. Now we're gonna press enter, disable, great. We have done that. Now we go back to security options. We press enter here. We enter our current password, one, two, three, four. And then next new password, we leave it blank. And the next one, we leave it blank. Why we are doing this is in case you forgot the password and you uh, go to the boot screen again and you won't be able to get into the boot screen because it's asking for you for that password. So that's why you're doing it now. So we don't have problems later. So, okay, great. Uh, changes are safe. We're gonna press F10, save the changes and exit. So this is my other computer that I've been using for BMW scanner setup. Uh, here I'm gonna paste this command that we pasted on the first one. We press enter and we have this same kind of a problem. Okay, now we're gonna go to the same things that change advance and that other stuff. So catch you there. So here now we are in the boot screen on this computer. We're gonna move to boot and uh, Okay, security, secure boot enabled. It's a security tab and go down there and security boot. Uh, I'm gonna press disable and F10 and save it. So now guys that we have uh, disabled our secure boot, um, we can now open the command prompt shift right click run as administrator yes and we're gonna paste in that same uh command that we pasted earlier now we're gonna press enter and the operation completed successfully great uh now we are going to restart the computer and here down here it's gonna show test mode so now that our uh Computer has rebooted. Down here we can see test mode Windows 10 Home. Great. Now we can install our drivers for the scanner. 
in the search bar we're gonna type device manager open up and now we're gonna plug in our BMW scanner we're gonna plug in and now it should show up under other devices as BMW scanner B14X if for some case it shows up here under ports as uh, USB port serial COM6 or something like that then you should delete it you should press on it right click uninstall device and then should uh, click the check bar that on the, says uninstall the drivers and uh, software of the device I think and then press on install but uh, in our uh, case we don't have it so we have this thing right here we're gonna press right click on it update drivers now browse my computer for drivers let me pick a list from available drivers show all devices next have a disk browse and now we're gonna use this file ftdibus the first one not the port but bus press on it open okay and now we're gonna, gonna check this usb serial converter for some for my other computer i had many options but if you see many options find the usb serial converter option check uh, check click on it and then press next installing drivers install the drivers anyway okay nice we have done that so we have new port right here usb serial converter and up here we have usb serial port with exclamation mark now we're gonna press right click on that update drivers and browse my computer for drivers now the same thing show all devices next have disk browse and fti port that's from the same bmw scanner drivers okay click on it open okay and usb serial port uh for other computer i had many options too i think just use uh, click on usb serial port okay then press uh, next install the driver software anyway and close and great now usb serial port com6 we have BMW scanner. Now we can close this thing. We can open up the BMW scanner. And for example, now it shows it's not connected to the car. It's switched on existing. Okay, okay. We're gonna press on it. And for some of you, it could show without this all uh, desktop on behind it. It can show only this small uh, window right here. Hardware is not ready. If it's uh, or hardware is faulty, if it shows that, you just have to connect it to the car and then open the BMW scanner and then everything will work. I will show that uh, problem later. So now I'm going to show you uh, how I installed the drivers on my other computer. So I had plugged it in and it shows BMW scanner B14X. Do the same, all the procedures that we did on that computer. And now, this is the problem I was talking about. If you can see, there are many different uh, models. And uh, you need to check this one. USB serial converter. Nice. Okay, then press next yes this thing will pop up you say yes and install the drivers anyway it's gonna take some while so i'm gonna cut the clip so we have installed all the dri all the drivers here now we will see usb under other devices usb serial port with exclamation mark now we're gonna press on that uh update drivers all the same thing to Now, here is the same thing, 
and we're just gonna click on USB serial port right here. We have many different options, but we're gonna use this one. Now again, yes. Install drivers anyway. Okay, there you go. Uh, we're gonna close this thing and now it's gonna show up as USB serial ports COM9, okay. Now we're gonna close it, now we're gonna open the VNW scanner. And yes, this is the thing that I was talking about. On this computer, it shows hardware faulty, but don't worry about that. Uh, so now guys, I'm gonna address that issue that we had earlier when launching the program. It showed uh, hardware faulty or hardware not, hardware not set up. Uh, so I have connected my scanner to the car. It's BMW E46. And uh, now I'm gonna launch the app. And yeah, switch ignition on. Yeah, uh, ignition is on. Press continue. Now it's connecting to the modules. And yeah, it's connected. If we settings, scanner settings, devices are set to do. Everything's good. So yeah. You can start reading the codes and do the other, all the other stuff. So yeah, that's uh, so there is no problem. It's just you have to connect it to the car and that's it. So now, guys, I'm going to show you how to remove test mode and how to turn on back or enable back your secure boot. So now in command prompt, we're gonna hold shift, right click, uh, run as administrator. Yes. Now, write the command bcd edit space slash set test signing off. The operation completes successfully. Uh, now we're going to close this. We're going to go back here in the search bar, type change advanced startup options. Now again, we're going to press restart now and that blue screen going to pop up. So this screen again, now we're going to take troubleshoot, advanced options, U5 firmware and restart. Now we're going to go to security again. If you remember, we have to enter our password. Again, make our own password, 21234, enter, confirm, 1234, nice, okay, great, gives us uh, access to the secure boot, now enable, great, back to security, enter password again, 1234, blank, leave it blank, and leave it blank, great. Now, nice, everything's done. Press F10, save. So, okay guys, this is the end of this video. I hope uh, this video was helpful in some kind of a way. So, I uh, hope it made some sense because I was switching from uh, one laptop to another one and just trying to show you the difference and the problems that people may encounter. But anyways, yeah, if you have any problems maybe and something's not working, you can just uh, write down in the comments, maybe I can help. So yeah, okay then, see you in the next one.